Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. One more show until we do the two live shows tomorrow. We're going to break down one more fight. I wanted to get into this uh, because I have people asking me about this, and we've only done the main event on the Golden Boy cards. We're going to get into Floyd Schofield, and boy, I've I've been struggling with his name, Estori Suero. I, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Schofield versus Estoro uh, Suero. Suero. Um, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single uh, major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. I don't gamble, but if you do, we use DraftKings. Uh, DraftKings gives a good book. It's pretty user-friendly, so I like DraftKings. Um, also, join the Patreon. Uh, the Patreon, just $5 a month. to get to the lock of the week. Get your... Uh, Everything that you need, you can ask ask the book in. You ask me a handicap, any fight, I'll handicap it. Ask me to do a video, I'll do the video for you, just like I'm doing this one. And get your free t-shirt, get your ton of perks, just five dollars a month. So join the Patreon, show your support on the Patreon. Um, also, uh, please uh, follow my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Let, let's get into today's show. Floyd Schofield is levels ahead of Suero. Floyd Schofield is a legitimate world championship caliber prospect. My prospect of the year for 2023, uh, 2022, he's that dude. He's at that level already. He's physically strong. He has a good jab that is really underrated because he's, he's a little bit cut out of the Sean Porter mold where he's, I don't want to say reckless, but aggressive. And he comes forward with heavy shots, and he's like a pit bull and a bulldog, and he's built really strong. Good pop in both hands. Not outstanding, crazy pop, but a good pop in both hands. He throws great combinations. He leads. He mixes up his shots up really well. Excellent hand speed. I remember uh, when he was really early in his career talking to Mario Barrios and uh, I asked Barrios about him because, you know, Barrios trained in, in Davies gym and Cameron Davies is um, Schofield's manager. And uh, Barrios said, he's fast, right? He's fast. He's strong. He's relentless. He's a bulldog. He's fearless. He's got a good, long, snappy jab. She's like, I really like his jab. And I think it goes under the radar because of how he fights. Like, people don't really notice it. Awesome, quick combinations, really good offensive fighter. Defensively, he's not the hardest guy to hit, but he's not the easiest guy to hit either. He's got good twitchy motions. He, he moves his head. He does things well defensively. He's an offensive fighter. Like, don't get it twisted. He, he's an offensively gifted fighter. He's an offensive fighter, and, and he's you can see the Texan built into his style. He's kid Austin. He trains out of Austin and San Antonio. He was born and raised in Jersey and Atlanta, Georgia and stuff, but you can see he's been in Texas for a while now. You can see that's kind of built into him now, you know. But he can also box off the back foot. He can move. He can do a lot of things. He's, he's a really complete fighter. He's pretty sharp from the outside, He, he and he can switch too. Uh, we saw it in the Rhodes fight, him switching to Southpaw. He can do that. He's a bulldog. He's an animal. He's fast. He's got all the physical gifts. He's sharpening his skills. His skills are sharp, right? Like, he's still really young. I think he's, like, 20 years old. He's still a baby, uh, and he's made up a lot of ground quick. And this is a guy that could be competing for a world title by next year. Like, Schofield is close. Schofield is the best prospect that Golden Boys brought up in their stable since Virgil Ortiz. Really complete offensive fighter. Good power, good speed, right? He can fight from all three ranges. He's a dangerous, dangerous guy. What's he facing? He's fighting a story Suero. Suero is a Dominican fighter. Quick feet, decent athlete. Sorry about that. He closes distances well. He's long and rangy, right? He's 5'9". Decent speed. Good reach, right? And he, and he uses his reach. He doesn't really have a high ring IQ. Like, he's got some pot potential. He, he, he's powerful. He likes to come forward. I just see him walking into something because he does like to come forward. He's not a guy that I think is going to look to survive. He's a come forward fighter. 
he puts his punches together and he commits to his shots. Like he's looking to hurt you. He's looking to win. I, I don't see him looking to survive here. He doesn't set his shots up well. He's not really a high IQ fighter. Not that he's not talented or doesn't have any skill. He does. He has some ability. He just his punches, a lot of it's one at a time. He doesn't set things up. There's no purpose to his shots, right? Like one doesn't set up the next. He just kind of throws punches. He throws them hard, but he's there to be hit. He's coming forward. He's in front of you. I just think he's a pretty easy target. Not that he's a bad fighter or, or he's an easy opponent. I think he's – he's Golden Boy did a good job of matching him. I think he's going to come forward. I don't think he's going to look to survive. Um, I, I think the odds – we're going to see the odds. I think they're still a little wide. I mean, he's not a bad fighter. Uh, the odds would suggest he's a, he's a very bad fighter, and he's not. He's not a bad fighter. You know, he, he's – He's just not polished, right? Like, he's, he's he's not he's not polished. Like, there's no other way to put it, right? Like, he, he, he's got some ability. He can fight a little bit, but he, he needs a world-class trainer. Bob Santos trains a lot of Dominican fights. I think Bob Santos should work on him. Bob Santos should get his, his jab fine, get him thrown in combinations, get him, a, you know, teach him how to, you know, he's in the high guard, teach him how to defend himself. You know, work on his defensive skills, his defensive posture, and he could be a pretty good fighter. Like there's ability in it, but I, I just think tomorrow night with Floyd Schofield, he's gonna be fight. He's gonna come to win, and he's gonna get flattened. He's gonna get steamrolled. Um, we're gonna find out a lot about his chin tomorrow. But let's take a look at this. Let's see how we can make money on this. Um, all right, the odds are crazy. Minus twenty five hundred. I like Schofield too. But this makes Suarez look like he's a bum, right? Minus twenty five hundred. We gotta take it. So we're gonna put two times bet on him. <coughs> it's gonna make us eight bucks. You guys don't even have to do that. I just always like to show this to you on the money line. So a two hundred bet's making you eight bucks. If you want to scratch it and just bet on Floyd Schofield to win by stoppage, hundred bet makes you sixty six bucks. So a three hundred bet. It's going to make you $84. Most of that money is, uh, I'm sorry, $64. Uh, most of that money is going to come if Floyd Schofield stops him. And I, again, stylistically, this is not a guy who's going to look to survive. He's not going to look to run. Um, you know, this certainly isn't guaranteed, which is why I'm hedging a little bit with Floyd Schofield on the money line. Uh, but Floyd Schofield's a guy that likes to look to the knockout. He's an aggressive fighter, pressure fighter. He's a little bit of Sean Porter in him. And, uh, but with, with, with better power. I have to wait. And Trump Porter was a guy that at this stage, at that early stage of his career, that Schofield was that he got knockouts. I, I think Schofield should get the knockout. He's not Haskell Rose. He's not going to run. He's not going to. I don't think he's going to look to survive. I think he should get the knockout. Um, I certainly do. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the boxing book in all forms of social media. Uh, join the Patreon as well. The link is in the description. Uh, it's just five dollars a month. It gets you all the perks. It gets you the lock of the week. You know, the lock of the week is going to make you a ton of money. We hit every week. My record is what it is. It's impeccable. Like there's no one else that can do what I do. You, you can search the internet. They can't do it like I can do it. It's just it is what it is. You can ask any any of the patreons. We make money every single week. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. It's always a bull market somewhere. I'm going to show you how to make that money. Get the lock of the week every single week to make that money. Um, also. Follow the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is March 15th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe.